Rarely does uh, an SEC team, even Alabama, get to uh, kind of get healthy and work on some issues and clean up uh, some situations on offense and defense and scheme some things and work on the passing game against another SEC team. And coming off a week when Alabama was able to do that, of course, against Kent State, it looks like they've got another opportunity to get ready for the SEC Western Division stretch drive, taking on a Kentucky team that Mark Stoops got a much-needed win against a conference opponent in defeating South Carolina at home 17-10. to 10. Uh, Dave, why don't we just stay with you on your thoughts about the Tide as a 35-point favorite against Kentucky. I don't think there's any question about what's going to happen in this game in terms of results, but then it really ramps up for the Crimson Tide after that. Then it becomes that SEC Western Division stretch plus Tennessee that they have to face in the next four or five weeks. And that's pretty much the key for me in this game is Alabama can't, have what happened last week where they, you know, had a few injuries that, you know, are look not, not to be too serious, but, you know, this is the game they need to stay healthy for Mark, like you mentioned with that stretch coming up. Uh, you know, Kentucky's had some problems uh, definitely this year, but, you know, a big blowout against Florida uh, and that defense. So, you know, they're seeing a similar defense here uh, going to Alabama uh, and, 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 you know, playing Alabama. So, you know, it's not going to look good for Kentucky. Uh, there's, you know, Stephen Johnson's probably go, he's definitely going to get the start here. Uh, all his stats have come against New Mexico State. Uh, you know, this is a much different monster than he's you know, he's going to play uh, this week. Um, it's just, you know, th- there's not much to I say about this game. I don't think you know this is going to, you know, the the winning streak for Kentucky is going to be v- very short lived. Uh, Boom Williams, you know, he's been. Uh, hot lately, but uh, against this Crimson Tide defense, uh, as long as you know, the Tide fans would be happy as long as they stay healthy in this game. Yeah, guys, I, I kind of have to. I don't know. Is this another bye week for for Alabama? Um, we know Pretty they much. just got one last week, but uh, um, so yeah, I, I don't know. This is you know they've had two wins uh, for Kentucky. I, I kind of I feel like David in a lot of sense. I feel like you know yeah they've got some momentum, but it's really going to be short lived. It's really about Alabama and how, you know, I don't doubt for a minute, you know, the Saban's going to have these guys tuned in and focused when it comes to playing this game. But, um, you know, it's how serious are they going to come out and, and play this team. Um, Stoops, you know, has talked about a lot this week in interviews about, you know, recruited by Saban, things of that nature, and and, and kind of really kind of relating to this program. Um, but when it's said and done, I, I think you've got to look at, at how they're going to perform against this team. Uh, they're going to be an environment that's going to be extremely loud. Bryant Denny Stadium is a, is a huge venue to be in, um, and a lot of times those fans can be extremely loud. I think that's an area where you watch uh, Steven Johnson and kind of how he reacts to that crowd. Um, you know, it would be easy for anybody, I think, to get rattled there. Uh, it's it's a special environment. Um, that being said, I, you know, when you've got a 35 point, that's what you said there, Mark, was the, the hedge on this one was 35 points. Five touchdowns. Wow. Um, yeah, bye week for Alabama. I'm, I'm going with a W in this one. That's all I got to say. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you guys are all right about Alabama. They're going to come out. Nick Saban's the kind of coach that's going to focus this week, and he's going to say, can't look overlook. You can't overlook Kentucky. You can't overlook Kentucky. And then after the first drive, if they punt, he'll get the offense on the side. He'll scream at them about how they overlook Kentucky, and he'll motivate them. Offensively, uh, Alabama, you, you got to remember, they fell behind in Mississippi in that first half quite a bit. Uh, there were some execution issues on offense. I think they're going to want to come out and they're really going to want to put Jalen Hurts in a position where he can execute the offense to get him ready for that tough stretch. But, hey, there's some there's some value to this game for Kentucky as well. After they play Alabama, if they can build some momentum, if they can keep it close and, and nobody's into moral victories, I understand that. But if Kentucky can be competitive against Alabama on the road, they enter a stretch where they play Vanderbilt, Mississippi State, and Missouri three games in a row that they can win. Can they win against Alabama? Probably not. Are they going to beat Tennessee? Probably not. Are they going to beat Louisville? Probably not. But they can win those games against Vanderbilt, Mississippi State, and Missouri, which would put them in a position to go to a bowl, which would be huge. If they can build some momentum against Alabama by staying close, executing well on offense, and having some sort of success on defense that might build some momentum going into that three-game stretch that will determine whether or not they go to a bowl this year, Vanderbilt, Mississippi State, Missouri, after Alabama. What Mark Stoops wants to do, he simply wants to build some momentum, execute well, and come out of Tuscaloosa with some positive momentum. That's all he wants to do. So, Chad, uh, here on the uh, the chat room, just threw out the all-time series record between the Crimson Tide and the Wildcats. 
we, we should ask people out there, try to guess what the series record is in 39 games. And you're probably not far off. 36-2-1. Of course, they had ties in college football before 1994, I believe. And 36-2-1. And, and my guess was that the two games that Kentucky won was with Bear Bryant on the sideline. But uh, I was off on that one. 1922-1997. So the Cats probably looking at 37-2. and two, But once you get to that point, does it really matter? 